this is serious. We are in the engine bay this week, not only on my boat, but also on the Pedalorian. We're going to have a little catch up with Andrew later on, see what's going on there. Just a e real easy job, exhaust heat wrap, just wrapping around the exhaust. Absolutely takes no more than five minutes. Here we go. Now, thanks to the sheer amount of cranking that I've been doing recently, I've managed to wear through the, uh, the heat wrap on the exhaust. And because it's such close proximity to these steps here, um, especially that bit there, there's a fire hazard risk because that, you know, that will burn and uh, catch fire eventually. So I've taken off the old lot. Um, it's in an absolute state. It was all shredded to pieces. And I bought some new heat wrap, which just all I'm going to do is just going to stick it around the exhaust all the way to the engine and stick a couple of uh, just stick a couple of clips on it and I'm gonna wear gloves because these are made from fiberglass there's loads of little bits in it you know it's can be pretty nasty right so I'm just gonna start at this end because it's all pretty much set up here I've got my little um, clip just waiting to be secured another thing a challenge I've got here is I really want to get this done as soon as possible so I can get on. So I'm just going to do that bit. Oh, come on. I can't remember which way it is. this goes in. Oh, you I'm one of those people that could probably easily just, without any guilt at all, pay someone else to do this kind of stuff if I could afford it. Here, I think there's two different sizes for the, each of these clips at either end. I don't know why. Seven mil. I think. Nope, it's not. God damn it. Maybe it was eight. Yes, it was eight. Eight mil on this one. Of course, after all that faffing around, it's uh, all come undone now. <laughs> so, oh my god. The hell! All right, start again. Ah, oh, this is what this is why I don't make these kind of videos. Oh God! Come on, you absolute! So just pushing it together, uh, checking that I'm securing it right. And as soon as I've done that, I can then put in the the pin, the little bolt here. Of course, I've done it the, the wrong way round again. <sighs> oh my God! This can off as well. I tend to swear quite a lot when I'm doing these kind of jobs. It's never simple. I always f up. Oh, for f sake. It's just a, it's such a simple thing, isn't it? What a simple job to do. This is like one of the easiest jobs you can do. And it's causing me to have an absolute breakdown already. But it's this barge life right here. Come on. So that's looking great. Let's just get that clamped on there. Come on, that's it. Of course it's all quite rusty so everything's a little bit harder than it normally would be to work with. Oh. <laughs> you might notice I've got another issue here and that is my air filter. It's uh, come undone so I'm gonna fix that next. Oh no, you know when you're screwing the wrong way. <laughs> that's what I've just been doing, making it looser. How did that? I think I've got this the wrong way around. This is a nightmare. Come on, here we go. So let's try it again. Third time lucky. This is gonna work. You've got to, have, you've got to be positive about these things. Come on. Go on, Dino. That's it. That's it. It's worked right. It's finally going my way. And I'm gonna just clamp that in there as tight as I am confident with. Obviously I don't want it to come apart. That seems to be secure. Now I could start just continuing to wrap around the exhaust etc. Sound like I know what I'm talking about but actually I'm just making it up. Always seek professional advice guys. Right so let's wrap this around, speed things up a bit. Here we go, let's crank it. Run out of material, brilliant.
Fuck's sake. Okay, so I started again and managed to get this three meters of exhaust wrap to fit almost exactly. Hopefully, that will be okay now. That was so easy. No problem at all. This bolt, the thread on it had just worn through and it wasn't quite keeping everything in place. So this was rattling around. So I've put an extra little washer there, a brass washer, it's just what I had to hand. And hopefully that will keep it from uh, moving around and uh, there is a sense of achievement when you fix stuff with your engine but to be honest I would obviously much rather be cranking it. How's it going Martin? Pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How much do you reckon we've got in total? Oh, I'll tell you what, all these um, problems with engines and stuff, it don't have to stress me out. Luckily I am quite near to someone who who specialises in Lister Petta engines, so we'll see what he says. Basically what's happened here is, as it's been running, that's yeah. probably been vibrating and eventually that has broke the braze inside so there. So what's that part there? That's, that's that a, a union. That's a swivel union. Okay. It's a banjo. And that's a banjo, well, that's a banjo bolt. It's so like a hollow, that's, hollow sort of bolt. Oh, that's actually a homemade banjo bolt. You can right. see how it's been drilled down the centre and then just been drilled through there. Amazing, but it does right? the same does yeah. the same thing, you know what I mean? Okay. So I mean that's probably a bit stronger actually. So d the big question is, do you think it's an easy fix? Definitely an easy okay, fix. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers Chris, thank you. No problem. So that's it, it's all sort of secured back in place yeah, now. As well as it can be. So it's tie wrapped to a tie wrapped to a bracket, not a pipe, to an actual bracket. The that's bracket good. That the throttle linkage was going through, you know, the cable for that. Yeah. So that should be fine, I would have thought. Brilliant. But obviously every now and again just keep your eye on it. Yeah. And just make sure it's not leaking. Oh, and that is why I don't do those kind of videos. I'm just, I'm just not mechanically minded. Thankfully, I know a man who is, and it's about time we caught up with his pedalorian to see what's going on in the workshop. It's a new segment, it's called The Workshop. Hey guys, and welcome to The Workshop. Let's have a look inside and see what's been happening to the pedalorian. So as you can see, things are changing in the Pedalorian garage. The body is off and under a load of junk at the moment, and uh, we've replaced the old Pedalo uh, because that was just far too slow and heavy and not very uh, hydrodynamic, so it just didn't really cut through the water very well. As you can see from this video of Robbie and I trying to get along the River Lee back in December, it was really slow. Even Robbie had to resort to pulling us along along the towpath himself. We tried pedaling. Paddling. This is the fastest we've been all day, isn't it? Yeah, it wasn't the greatest way to get along. So what I've done now is replace it with this, which is a four meter catamaran that I found on Gumtree for 150 pounds, absolute bargain. I strapped a couple of aluminium ladders to it, which were 20 pounds from eBay. On top of that, we've got a couple of bike frames and they are bolted on down um, through these chains into these right angle gearboxes. So, as you can see, we've got these upturned bicycle frames and the chains are connected to a cog on this right angle gearbox. The right angle gearbox drives this prop shaft down and connects to the propeller at the back, which propels us along. When we did a float test recently, it floated, which was great, um, but the problem was that we didn't go very fast. That's mainly because the propellers we were using they're not the right pitch, they need to be a higher pitch so that they basically push more water past them. Um, and they need to be at an angle, basically a right angle to the flow of water as it's coming along like that. This next clip, you'll see that we actually went reasonably fast, I think maybe two or three miles an hour, and that was using this electric trolling motor. Um, 
connected to this 12 volt battery. It's not bad. Uh, we were going, yeah, maybe two or three miles an hour. Um, but the catamaran cuts through the water really nicely. So it wasn't sitting that low in the water either, which is good because when we put the DeLorean shell back on the top, it's going to weigh about another 100 kilos maybe. So it's going to push it down in the water. So we need to make sure this is as efficient as possible. There's a long list of things that I want to replace on here and upgrade and improve. The body as a whole is actually quite good. It's, it's lasted quite well in the canal. It's been in the canal for six months over the middle of winter. I'm also going to put some LED lights in here. So we've got proper headlights. As with the headlights at the front where we're going to put the LEDs in, we're also going to put the LEDs in here. So we've got some rear tail lights to show other boats that were on the water. And we may even put the indicators in too. What I really want to do is put some LED lights on these flux bands along here and on the front bumper so that we can control them from remote control and light them up just as if it's going through the time barrier. Well that's it from the Pedalorium workshop for now. There's plenty to do as you can see and I'm going to be getting on with that over the next few weeks so hopefully I'll report back soon with some more progress. But in the meantime, don't forget to crank it. How cool was that, eh? Andrew, thank you so much for sharing that with all of us. Amazing editing. Love, I love the workshop. I want to see more of it. And I think we all want to see how the Pedalorian shapes up. I really, really hope you can get over three miles an hour. I definitely want to hop aboard once you've got it all sorted. If you want to see the video that me and Andrew made last year about the Pedalorian, just click the video at the end of this. But for now, as Andrew said, keep on cranking. We'll return to the normal videos very shortly. I need to get on with some editing, so I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks.